Hey guys, Omni here. While I was away at GalaxyCon over the weekend, a trailer dropped for Saw X, the 10th film in the Saw franchise. I've seen every one of these films except for Saw 3D and Jigsaw. Saw Spiral, Saw the original six. Right now, I think I think my bar is just like, just please be better than Spiral, because I really didn't enjoy that movie. <laughs> This one, though, has an interesting premise, at least, in the way that it is bringing, once again, Tobin Bell back, Jigsaw himself. And from what I saw on, like, the promotionals for, for this when the trailer dropped was that this is going to be set between Saws 1 and 2. It has piqued my interest, so I definitely want to check out this trailer. So that is what we are going to do today. Let's go ahead and give it a look. Here we go. The cancer is still spreading. I'm afraid there's nothing else we can do. There is one person who might be able to help. Our program is a two-pronged treatment outside Mexico City. The results have been stunning. Oh, she interesting. You're in very good hands with us. After that, what happens then? Your whole life. God, I missed that voice. According to these scans, the tumor was never removed. How much time do I have? Months, at best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh wow, everybody that was in that room. Pretended to cure me, but what I have planned for each of you is very real. Yo, is it Amanda still? No no the only thing oh my god, is your anesthetic, but trust me. You will want to remain alert. <laughs> yeah. And then did she? You picked John Kramer? Please. Yeah, you fucked up. Place a big enough oh. piece of cerebral tissue into the glass enzyme tank. This will save your life. So sweet. Oh, oh god this is not retribution it's a reawakening live or die the choice is yours yeah there she is <sighs> text i want to play a game to a number interesting all right, man. I, I it's interesting in the way to me that it feels almost like a compromise between like the first saw and some of the more later entries. You know, kind because of, we're focusing in on an intimate group who are all interconnected in a singular event, and then running them through the ringer in these these different ways, these surgical ways is kind of interesting so they promised him what i gleaned from the trailer is that they promised him a cure for his tumor or at least an attempt an experimental procedure or something like that and then they never actually did it you know because there was that line it's like it is uh, no evidence that no the tumor was never even touched or removed it's still very much there and he's got months to live at this point so that kind of spurns his progression and his escalation between Saul's two and three. And yeah, I wonder if we'll see, cause I can't, I honestly, it's been a long time since I've seen two and three. I don't know if we went that far into the recruitment slash training process for Amanda. I, I forget about that. Cause we're introduced to her in the first film. 
I liked that whole element. I, what I loved, what I like most, more than like the insanity of the experience, is the way that they r go back through all these different things. The reveals, the reveals at the end, because this the series is is built around twists. How is everybody connected? How is everybody intertwined? What is the cause and effect that led him to choose who he chose? The thing about this one that makes it a little bit different is we pretty much from the trailer get and the get go onward know why he chose these people. So I'm wondering if there's going to be another element in the background of that, because the one of the things that's uh, most interesting to me about these films is once you get to the end and then it's just like all the pieces just start falling into place. And it's just like, whoa, <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man, there's like a an adrenaline filled rush that comes with that, like on top of that, just the the unsettling nature of the everything in this that just always kind of has you on the edge. It's also really interesting that we're taking things back into the past for the 10th entry rather than exploring a potential future. And I, I think that maybe there's an apprehension with that after the, the reaction to Spiral and that attempt to kind of you know, continue the legacy onward. It just, it didn't work for me. I don't know. It just didn't feel like it, it, it fit in with everything else at the end of the day. But where do you go from here? Like, I, do you be like, oh, he did never died or whatever, or yet another protege or another person trapped in the machinations and design of John Kramer? Like, how do you do that? So I guess the compromise here is just going back and seeing more things that we just didn't experience while he was going about his mission. I'm excited to see this. I like Toby Bell. He's great. He's also an X-Files alum. He was in an episode of X-Files at one point. And it, it was Amanda, right? That is her name. Is that... Am I, I'm remembering that correctly, right? Yeah, Amanda Young. Okay. It is interesting that... And they're not doing any kind of de-aging or anything like that, too. Tobin Bell, though, he's kind of had, like, an, an old face <laughs> for a long time, so that definitely helps him out. Amanda, though, that's where it gets a little uh, interesting. Let's do it. Let's go. But, guys, what did you think of the trailer? What is your experience with the Saw franchise? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you all. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherrett, Ryan, Karen, Yori, Corey, Scott, Margaret, Grace, Melito, Robert Agliano, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake and Trail, and Eric Official. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. And that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, you want to play a game? Take care, everybody.